Dylan Gannon. Dylan Gannon, you're gonna get, what? You're gonna get Devo banned for coaching, dude. Mid-set coaching. What are you doing? <laughs> I, I just don't want to see EK kill with cargo throw 50 times. I've seen it so many times. Like, they'd never it switch is. to this stage. But, but anyway, it's Ganondorf. It, it's Ganon. So everything I said didn't even matter. So yeah, should I call him RJ or, or Chunky Kong? I don't know what's what's It's up to you. I'm going to call him RJ because he officially said he would change his name tag. Um, you know who it is, Chunky Kong, even though he's not going DK. He is the Ganondorf and he's still going for the heavy hitters. You know that DK hits like a truck and Ganondorf hits like two trucks, basically, because every time you find yourself caught in that in those forward smashes or in smashes in general he's going to decimate you especially such a young sweet summer child like Ness but he gets a net guard situation and Devo gets a clean fear to death dang that looks like Ganon didn't get to do anything at all kind of what you would expect I don't think Devo is scared of this Ganon at all right now he's like your character is so easy to edge guard in combo I'm not gonna really give you anything, but oh my goodness, he almost went directly to the force smash. I wonder if that killed at 34 at the ledge, possibly. Probably would. Nope. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The, the 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 strength that it has is just ridiculous, and and it's kind of how you want to play Ganondorf. You want to play the mind games. You want to put the fear. You want to instill the 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 hesitation of every step you take and, and RJ is doing phenomenally at it. However, Devo doing even better with two stocks gone already with only 60% oh to his name. It's just ridiculous the amount of domination that Devo is providing us in this game number one. Okay, sneaks in the upper opportunity for an edge guard. Oh, nice recovery from Devo. Actually, Ganon doesn't have the recovery to go super deep against the, a nest like that. No tech chase on the flame choke either. Kind of unfortunate. Uses his double jump a little bit early, but no down right. smash. Man, you just really can't find a safe opening on Ness right now. Devo is just staying outside of Ganon's very limited range. Like his moves are strong, of course, but they don't have that much range where they can catch you. So a lot of times you can just kind of run away from them and not really have to worry about it. He went okay. all the way down to get the kill, get trying to get the three star. He looks hungry. You can feel the determination that he wants to get. RJ doing the slip, uh, the new tech actually, that slip down of the ledge. It's really good, Ooh. but it tries to contest that recovery Ooh. with his bike. And just for the disrespect, Debo gets a clean 3 0 and ends it up with a beautiful and dominating spike. Man, he didn't need to do that, but he kind of no, did. He definitely uh, did. <laughs> and I don't think we're going to see Ganon for the rest of this set unless uh, RJ is trying to, you know, really go to bed right now. You know, it's it might be late for him. <laughs> he just wants to hand this one over to Devo. I, I definitely don't see Ganon doing much against Devo here. Yeah, it didn't work. It really yeah. didn't work. And and you can tell that RJ, is, he's really good overall. But um, as someone in chat said, I, I uh, his name escaped me, basically. But um, I think I agree. He's feeling him out. Uh, RJ has the, um, the adaptation, the levels of adaptation as a competitor that are just unprecedented. He's just really good at adapting. Even with low tier characters or characters that are on paper are really like combo food. He just performs really well. So I'm interested in, in seeing what kinds of changes RJ is going to bring to the table because we know he's good. We might even see the DK. Yeah, yeah, DK for sure. DK for sure. This is the best character. And like, it's the character he used to destroy so many innocent Nets players in the past. Like, there was no way he was going to go this whole set without using the DK. And right. uh, let's see if we got the, the magic stage. See if we got the magic stage. The stage. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> you can still do it on this stage too, but not nearly as easy as uh, Pokemon Stadium. So, uh, yeah, let's see what happens here. I'm, I'm hoping that means that um, Debo banned PS2 on the counter pick. That just shows that he yeah. knows what he should be doing against this character. And uh, Ness right. still can do really well against DK because he's a. No, he's huge. Oh! Wow, that was interesting. He went for the back throw instead. I'm surprised he went for that. Is he, 
Oh. oh no, the oh. bounce is off. What an unfortunate turn of events. Devo trying to recover, but chunky RJ here putting every single bit of aggression up, oh, un nice. making it unable to recover to even think is he going for it? No, tech? no instead gets stage spike because he was unable to press that but that trigger fast enough. Still, chunky looking really good with the amounts of pressure that he's putting out. Devo needs to step it up because right now it's not looking pretty. RJ doing phenomenally so far in this stage really favors him in the sense that if he gets a grab off of those side platforms that is basically a stock gone if DK gets his funny funny hands on you definitely I think De uh, Devo is recognizing that as well trying his best to play around the grab on the platform but Ooh. when you don't get the grab you always got to be ready for that <laughs> hand slap into the up smash very very strong combo Especially since yeah. the the spike is untakeable, so you're always gonna get sent inside of like that jello situation. Those confirms are ridiculous, and the way he plays his DK is just so overwhelming. You can't even think straight because you know that uh, he's playing with your mind. He steps back, he then dashes forward and oh. deals massive amounts of damage. The DK punch, a giant punch is ready. However, he misses and goes back to the corner to try to regain a little bit of a uh, mental composure, and it's working out just flawlessly. Uh, he was at the percent where the up throw would kill. Oh. Wait a minute, edge guard? Oh, he's so low. There's no, yeah, he didn't even try to come back. There's no way he's gonna make it, even if he tried to be. Dang, that was actually so good for Chucky e. Kong. Funny enough, like he went for a much harder edge guard kill than just getting the up throw up there when he's on the platform. But sometimes I think Chucky e. Kong really likes to style on his opponent, especially on stream. So yeah. I think we're gonna see that at least a few more times in, in the set goes on. No, that's that's a given. The, the way RJ plays is just so flashy, so overwhelming. Especially if you're his opponent, he will drown you out. He will suffocate you with how fast he moves his character. The way he picks his options in a blink of an eye is just really hard to react to and can be really devastating if you're not prepared or if you pick options out of just like, you know, desperation, trying to get out of a combo. RJ, um, also known as Chunky Kong, is going to capitalize from it, and he is going to make you pay for picking unsafe options. Now, in this game number three, we're going to Final Destinations. Final Destination, no platform, so it, it will be a matter of neutral. Look at him just bouncing back and forth, trying to lure you in to a situation where you find yourself uncomfortable. But again, Debo doing a really good job at keeping patience and composure by the less you try to extend his damage. I'm really a little bit surprised that Debo's opting to do the Nair out of shield when uh, RJ is choosing to dash tech his shield in safely. I thought he was just trying to throw him off stage immediately and go for the edge guard since Ness has pretty much free edge guard on DK most of the time. But let's see how he continues in this set so far. If we'll see that play factor a little bit longer as we go into this. So far though, man, they're just both playing such patient neutral. Especially uh, Chunky Kong. But there's the back air. Deep off stage now. Nice timing on his up B to avoid the yo-yo. That was actually such good spacing from uh, RJ. Oh, Dare up air. Big damage. Another one. Where's Debo going to go? Okay. Back throw here. Still living. He is heavy boy, but how's he going to recover here safely? Nice. He goes high to hit the yo-yo again. That was actually such a good recovery once again. Uh, RJ's so experienced with coming back to the stage with this character, even in this type of matchup where Ness can do so many things to DK off stage. Oh, Ooh, the back the air. oh impeccable. Gets the BK rocket, unable to do anything out of that high percent. And how close, how close he was to that stage. It was ridiculously impossible to do anything there. However, RJ doing a phenomenal job of bringing the stock back. And something that I've noticed is that they're really even, like they're basically evenly matched with no platforms in play. They're basically moving uh, to the rhythm of neutral with no extensions, no protection from platforms. Platforms, it's really it really comes down to how good you are in just neutral overall they are being super patient but also aggressive when they have to and it's contributing to getting the stocks in the insane play style and gameplay that we're seeing right now on screen how Debo right now is controlling the situation be a little scary because chunky um, RJ is struggling a little to get in to be honest yeah, but when he does get in, he makes it count for sure. Really good 
timing and positioning of these tilts as well. Oh my god, he waited to see if the shield would go lower too. Almost getting a shield break with the punch. So crazy. Nice dash attack. Getting a little bit of stage control here. Doesn't get the back air, but again, I really like the walking that RJ is doing. He's just staying right out of range. Still gonna live here on that up smash. Gonna go to the ledge. Oh. Again, there's that up B to hit the yo-yo. It's such a smart yeah. recovery, dude. And he sneaks in the back air. <laughs> Patience paying off for RJ. So good, but... Man, he really wanted that side B to work. Unfortunately, he goes right into a yo-yo. And now we're back to even. Juggle here. DK is it's completely fine with getting juggled like this. He knows he's going to get juggled for free in most matchups. 50%. Nothing too crazy. Okay. That Tech is... chase, though. Ah, he wants to keep the aggression up at all times, and it's working out for Debo, but he needs to be very careful because RJ can't just turn it up in a second, and with all the options that he gets, will be able to take stocks, especially with the rage, insane amount of damage that he can put out. It needs to be really careful. The percentage is just, just right. If he manages oh. to get the read, that stock is gone. It, oh. And it goes both ways, really. The wow. yellow comes out and it might be it. Yes, goes all the top of the blast zones. Debo consolidating himself with the second, uh, second game in this set. He only needs one more in order to go to grand finals and eliminate one of the fiercest Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong players out there, basically. Very impressive from Debo. Good call out on uh, the neutral get up. He charged that up smash knowing that Chunky Kong would commit to that option and it covered the neutral get up perfectly. Just enough time to uh, charge it to kill too. So great stuff for Debo. And yeah, one game away from going to the grand finals, man. Really good losers run from him if he can pull this off. Beating a ton of really strong players. But we're going right back to FD. I. At, at this point, I would have to imagine that uh, Debo has banned all the really good platform stages for <laughs> Donkey Kong. Like, he's not giving him any chance to cheese him with that cargo throw up there. And I gotta say, I respect it because so many people let RJ, formerly known as Donkey Kong, kill them like that. <laughs> Seen it happen too many times. Yeah, and it's something that I, it, you're obviously going to see a lot. You, you're you going to see DK go for those options, which are insanely reliable. So it's something that you, you have to expect at this point. Now, with the lack of platforms, it becomes a little harder. Very risky there, almost falling into that, but it gets the poke there. It might be really hard to recover, especially if that spike comes through, but it doesn't and still tries to recover to the best of his ability. Unable to do so, Debo doing a phenomenal job when it comes to edge guarding with that yo with those down airs but rj is going is going for it he wants to get the stock back to back and he is very well capable of doing so because of how nice. high the rage in the percentages it's definitely doable and now with even stocks on the second of each it's nope. going to be the oh, most the funny evil psi magnet spike beautifully done from evo Debo coming back with the amazing zero to death, just completely destroying RJ's momentum, and he's just he's running away with his lead right now. RJ's gonna have to really turn it up to bring this back, and I can see it happening. Okay, at the ledge though, Debo with some really strong juggles gets sent off stage. He's gonna save his jump in a good spot. Stay to the ledge. Oh. Man, RJ, you can't find a substantial hit to bring this back right now. He's getting like tiny little hits here and there, but not really getting stage control or leading to a kill right now. Oh, nope, no up smash either. He definitely needed that, but there's the berry. No, down smash? Oh, oh perfect no. Perfect smashing. Yeah, perfect mashing yeah. there from Devo. And remember, this is the last opportunity that Chunky Kong, RJ, has at this moment. The electric guard trying the yo-yo to put extra pressure. The percentage is extremely high. He's trying to go for those shield go. breaks. Gets the up air. He gets one more opportunity to do this. However, Devo has an insane lead. And with the edge guard situation, the opportunity becomes there it is. more palpable. And he gets the back air. Ridiculous play style from Devo. He gets the 3 1 on RJ, formerly known as Chunky Kong. And Devo now's go, now goes into grand finals to face wow. off 8 bit Matt. And he needs to force the reset.